Welcome back to my let's play of Danganronpa V3 Killing Harmony. In the last part, we started investigating who killed Rantaro. I have no idea, um, but now we're gonna talk to some people, so we'll talk to Angie. Hey. You're not gonna investigate Angie? No, she's gonna pray to Atua. I... Investigation is important, but I gotta say my prayers to Atua too. Amen. Oh, Atua, please let Rantaro enter heaven safe and sound. Hey! I suppose a prayer couldn't hurt. Hmm. Antara died in such a gruesome way. Would he be able to go to heaven in peace? It'd be nice if he could. It'll be okay. Don't worry, I'll pray hard. I'll pray hard enough. I'll earn enough points to become a platinum dis disciple. Huh? Sounds like a credit card reward program, yeah. Okay, that was nothing for them. Um Tenko? What's up? Oh, Tenko, I wanted to ask you something. What? We asked Tenko about what happened in the game room. Oh. But she only confirmed what Maki had told us, and we didn't provide any new information. Mm -hmm. I see. That's right. I knew it. Gonto would be the most suspicious since he locked himself in the AV room. Not to mention he's also a male. Hmm. Um, are you submitting that as evidence? <laughs> By the way, how's your investigation going? No. I haven't done any investigating. Huh? What? Degenerate hey, Degenerate, now. don't give me that face. I've been doing something else. I've been watching Angie. Okay. Huh? Watching Angie? Listen up. We agreed to investigate with one other person, right? But Angie's just been wandering around alone. I see. Oh, that's why you're with Angie. Um... I don't want to suspect anyone, but... Girls' lives are at stake here. Okay. For an investigation like this to work, we have to trust each other. Oh God, what the? F what's that face? Oh, she does not look happy right now. Ugh, Don't act all high and mighty with me, you two-faced degenerate. No. Sorry, that was my intention. Okay. Well, that was not very helpful. Um. I hope I'm doing the right thing just talking to these people, right? Because they said talk to people. Where's everyone else? I mean, I I'm assuming there are yellow gospel up here. Oh, here's someone. Hi. Oh, oh investigating together, are we? You two sure have gotten awfully chummy. Uh. Are you here alone, Kokichi? Hmm? hmm? Yeah, why? Jeez. We all agreed to investigate with at least one other person. Was oh, it? did we? Well, just because we agree doesn't mean we have to do it, right? Hey. Why would you do something that would make you, anyone suspicious of you? Right? Because I'm an evil Supreme Leader, remember? I'm supposed to be suspicious. All right, yes. I, I remember that. Is that all right? Anyway, there's something I wanted to ask you. What were you doing at the time Rantar was killed? Oh. oh, an interrogation from the ultimate detective himself? What a rare opportunity. Then I'll gladly answer. To tell you the truth, I was in the library smashing in Rintaro's head. That's a lot of shit. Huh? Hey, quit screwing around and take this seriously. Why? Why? Do I really need to tell you guys what I was doing? Huh? What? Because? If I gave you an honest answer now, it'd just make everything boring, right? <laughs> I'd rather tell you guys at the class trial. That would be way more fun. Shit. The trial's gonna be boring anyway since we'll have photo evidence. Stop it. What are you saying? Anyway, I'm just saying this is a game. Let's have some fun with it. That's wrong. This isn't a game. Rentar was murdered. All our lives are at stake. How exciting! Exactly. It's a game of life and death. Wow. I'll be honest. With Rentara dead, I think I know who I'm gonna talk to next. <laughs> <laughs> he, he's so fun. I'm so excited. I want a class route to start already. Is Kokichi actually enjoying this situation? Yes, he is. Um, okay, where do I go from here? Would there be anyone outside? Here, I'll check the rest of this floor and then... We'll see. Did it tell me if... Actually, why not just deploy my map? How about that? Fucking genius. Ah! 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 I saw... See? Wait, where? How, why? Why can't I go over there? Hi. No. Right? No. Okay, no. Where the people are. Right? Classroom A. How do I get there? Hi. 
Okay, I, that map's confusing as fuck. Um, but I think I need to turn around. Okay. And that, oh, is Classroom made the one we were in? Like this one? Oh yeah, it is. Hey, hey, Shuichi, I would like to ask you two a question. You were on lookout inside this classroom, right? Yeah. Yeah, from here we could keep an eye on the basement. And it was close to the library, too. You're right. That's our alibi. We were both in the classroom when the murder occurred. I see. Then the probability that you two committed the crime is extremely low. By the way, were you two together the entire time? No. No, I did leave for a bit to see what was happening in the basement. Besides that, we were together the whole time. Until the receiver went off. Yeah. Yeah, that's right. Thank you very much. I understand. Thank you very much. Look out, classroom. Hey. Is that all you want to ask? Um. Oh, may I ask you one more question? Specifically about the vent. By the way. It appears to be connected to this classroom. Yes. The air duct in the basement hallway leads to it. That's... Yes, I was also concerned about this vent. That's why we kept watching the classroom. That's right. Because the culprit wouldn't be able to use this vent if we're in here on lookout. That's right. Under those circumstances, it would be difficult to sneak into the library from there. Okay. Caddy stacked up books in front of the library vent as well. With those in the way, it would be even harder for someone to go in and out. I'll commit that to my memory. Really? I will be sure to have the important piece of information in my memory bank. Classroom vent. Thank you very much. I hope my line of questioning was not offended either of you. It is necessary so that we may find the truth. Mm. Kibo, you're totally you totally sound like a detective or a lawyer just now. Uh. Oh, maybe you were a detective or a lawyer in a past life. He's a robot. <laughs> a past life? How would I have a past life when they're not even made of human components? Yeah, I was gonna say. Um Yeah. Uh, let me guess. You wish to hear my alibi, yes? Huh? How did you know? You see. My appearance and actions thus far suggest I am someone who will commit a murder. At least you're self aware. Well. So, to briefly state the truth, when the body discovery announcement played, I was in the dining hall eating supper. Ah, yes. The other people there with me were Mew, Kurumi, and Samugi. The monarch cubs prepared the meal for me. It was listed on the menu as pasta that tastes like a lonely old lady eating her grandkids' birthday cake or some such. Okay, that's specific. Hmm. That pasta sounds pressing. Do you understand? That concludes my alibi. I do hope it can be of some help. Hey! And what about the people around you? Do you notice anything in particular? Yes. Ah, there is something to take note. It would be that me was tinkering with something or other. There was also a brief period of time where Samugi left to use the restroom. Mm. The restroom, huh? Interesting. Well, Samugi is the ultimate cosplayer. She could have gone to the bathroom to secretly disguise herself as someone else. Uh, um... Someone else? But who? Yeah. I don't know, but I'll go talk to her. She could be at the crime scene in the library. For Kyo's account. Okay, so now do we need to go to the library? Oh. No, I clicked wrong. I meant to talk to Kibo. Hey. Hey, Kibo, what were you doing and where during the body discovery announcement? Hmm. Ah, my alibi. Whoa, what the fuck? Um. Huh? Um, are you glitching right now? Well. No, I'm just searching for the right words. In all honesty, I was alone in my room. So I admit my alibi is not altogether reliable. Um. So you don't have an alibi? <gasps> but Ryoma said he was alone in his room too. Aww. She's way to throw him under the bus. Huh? But that's not my intention. I see both Kibo and Ryoma don't have an alibi. That means it's possible one of those two is a mass crime. Um. Am I under suspicion because I don't have an alibi? No. No, I won't suspect you just because you don't have an alibi. Of course. And I'm not saying that because you're a robot or anything. I'm not robophobic at all. <laughs> Thank you very much. But 
You don't need a beast of PC. Okay, keep his count. Okay. Okay. Putting aside the thing about Sumugi, we now know ev we know everyone's alibi. Huh? What about Kokichi? No. We don't need to ask him. He was definitely alone. <laughs> Everyone we talked to hadn't seen him, so no one would collaborate his alibi, right? That means he must have been alone. I see. Oh, you're right. I guess that's why you're the detective and I'm not. Okay, now I believe we need to talk to Samugi. He was back in the library, so we need to go back downstairs. Great. Um... Because I guess it could be possible that she could cosplay as someone? Okay. Samugi, let's talk. Um... Hey, hey Samugi, I need to ask you something. Oh, are we doing this thing again? She seemed like she's busy about something. She won't talk to me. Okay, then there's no excuse to give up. Oh, her cheeks again. Wait, what? I grabbed the hem of Smoogie's shirt and began to lift it slowly. Got it? I'm gonna lift your shirt skirt, Smoogie. You're you okay with that? Uh. Wait, Kaede! <laughs> you better talk or I'm gonna lift your skirt for Shuichi to see. Oh my god. <laughs> oh Kaede. And then I'm gonna tie your skirt around your head so everyone can see your panties. Really nothing? I understand. I just need to talk, right? Mm -hmm. Oh, took you long enough. Oh. Well, I can't let Shuichi innocent eyes see get dirty. That's wrong. Uh, no, they won't get dirty. Shuichi. Are you saying you seem dirty, Shuichi? <laughs> I mean, have you talked to me, yo? What's wrong? What did you want to talk about? You know. I'm just gonna cut. I'm just gonna cut to the chase. Since you're the ultimate cosplayer, that means you could disguise yourself as anyone, even one of us, right? Uh... Oh, so that's what you think of me. Well, since we're in this situation, I'll be clear. That's impossible! I only cosplay fictional characters. I don't cosplay real people. Or rather, I can't. Um... You can't? Isn't it easy to just wear someone else's clothes out of disguise and... You can't! Cosplay isn't a disguise! Huh? Uh, sorry. I guess... Well, you'll probably have a hard time believing me if I just say it. So I'll show you. Um... Show me how. Come here. Come on, Kaede. Uh... Oh, wait! What's going on? Smoogie grabbed my hand and dragged me to the girls' bathroom on the first floor. Hello. Um. Are you gonna punch me or tie me up? Hey now. Hey now, there's no way I do a thing like that. Hey. Now hurry and take your clothes off. Oh my god, what? Huh? What? Why? Uh... Well, because I'm gonna cosplay as you, of course. Now give me your clothes. Huh? But. Right? Come on, come on, hurry up! Huh? What? Okay, this is taking a weird turn. I slowly undressed and handed my clothes to Samugi. After telling me to look the other way, I waited while she changed into my clothes. Yeah. Okay, now you can look. Oh my! Huh? Um... A gross, bumpy rash has spread across Samugi's body. Oh my god. No, you are not. <laughs> this isn't cosplay of the spiky headed underling of a certain space emperor. Still don't get that reference. This is cosplay. What? An allergic reaction that happens when I dress up as real people. Oh. This is the price for my power. The equivalent exchange for my cosplay. Oh, so she couldn't have done it. Uh, okay, I get it. Change out of my clothes already. <laughs> We exchanged our clothes, then returned to the library where Shuichi was waiting. <laughs> oh my god, why are you crying? What happened? Kaede, what's wrong? Uh... Samugi couldn't have disguised herself. Yeah. You understand since you saw the cospox, right? Cosplay is love. You're right. Your breath life in the characters, it's almost like you're summoning them. From fictional into the real world, like an oracle channeling the gods. Um, That's why I can cosplay various characters from across the wide world of fiction. But it's impossible to cosplay as someone who exists in the real world. Right? 
Because that's not cosplay, it's just impersonating someone. Uh, I really don't need that long explanation. Okay, so. Never mind. Oh! Wait, we didn't get the pictures yet! Huh? This chime! Oh shit, are we not gonna get the pictures? The last of the trial? You bastards! It's time, you bastards! Time for the long awaited class trial! No, it's not. We're just announcing that the photos are ready. Don't interrupt me. Oh, okay, good. Anyway, I'll be waiting at the warehouse. Mike is gonna explode. Hey, did my face look weird to you? Have my face always looked this weird? Yes. So long, farewell. Okay. Okay, so the pictures are already good. Hey. Did you hear that, Shuichi? The pictures have finally been developed. Let's go, come on, get a move! Oh. Uh, wait, Kaede! I ran as fast as I could to the school warehouse. I couldn't say put, knowing that the truth was so close at hand. Okay. Here we are. I ran full sprint to the warehouse. Wait! Ah, oh, wait, Kaede, you shouldn't get so worked up. Please. I can't help it, we're so close to learning the truth. We're gonna find out who the mastermind is. I doubt it. <laughs> oh, you came! We're intruding! Sure did. I came to see you, Toots. What? I came to see you, Toots. <laughs> you as lovely as always. Isn't she your sister? Oh, Manusu, you're such a flirt. Ah, may I join you for a drink? Again, aren't you brother and sister? No? What are you saying? Drinks as much as you want. I got cash to burn. No? We're not gonna ignore the fact that they're brother and sister? I mean, they're bears. They're robotic, and they're. Why am I applying logic to this? <laughs> Thank you. Excuse me, can we get a bottle here? This is great! Oh, hey, how long are you guys gonna do this for? T take these. Oh. It's all the photos. They're separating the envelopes for each camera. Why are your face all bumpy? Use them to take that bastard down. It's all up to you now. Oh, what happened? Dumbass! If I'm so rich, what's a journalist gonna do about it? Nothing that's what. By the way, Mona Fanny, wanna get out of here after our shift ends? I want a fancy steak dinner. <laughs> What's your name and age? Home district? Salary? Do you have another job? I don't know what the fuck this happened to these things. <laughs> anyway, it looks like we have the pictures now. Yeah. Yeah, finally. Oh, everyone else came. Oh, shit. Um... Kaede, are those the developed photos? Right? The culprit should be in those photos, right? <laughs> How exciting! I want to see a dumb look on the culprit's face! Alright! Alright, let's take a look! Um... Let's look at the photos taken by the camera near the front entrance first. The envelope says front entrance. Had a total of four pictures. Let's see the first picture. Oh. Uh, this is when we arrived at the library, so we took a picture then. Uh, yeah, that was right before we found Rentara's body. <laughs> That's a pretty bad picture of me, but don't focus on it too much. But of course. The rest assured, we do not care. Hmm. Alright, let's go to the next one. Oh. Um. Um, this is... Is this... It's a picture of us running into the library after we heard Tenko scream. That doesn't help us at all. Hurry up and show us the next picture. Yeah. Yeah, okay. Oh. It seems as if... This is everyone else who came to the library after the body discovery announcement. Yeah. Everyone pictured here, myself included, was on our way to the basement. So we got here a bit late. You know... Hey, these are all pictures of when we found the body. Hmm. There is one more photo on the front entrance, correct? Yeah. 
Yeah, let's take a look at that one. Oh my! Huh? Huh? Shuichi! Oh. oh, sorry, it looks like I tripped one of the sensors when I was re re removing the camera. Yeah. What are you saying? Uh... Um, this picture doesn't seem to have any clues that will help us either. Camera pointed at the front entrance, only snapped these four pictures. Okay. Hmm. Neither Rentar nor anyone else who could be the culprit are in the photos. Hey. Did they both enter through the back door then? That is correct. Let's examine the photos taken by the camera near the rear entrance then. Yeah. Hmm. Only two photos were taken by the camera pointed at the rear entrance. Um, let's see the first picture. Oh! Uh, Rentaro! I knew it. So Rentaro went through the rear entrance. Perhaps no one could see him. I see. I thought this might be possible that he moved to the library after being murdered. But that did not appear to be the case. If so. So that means he was killed in the library after going there on his own will. Yeah. Anyway, let's move on to the next one. Maybe we'll show the mastermind. Oh my god! Again! Sorry. Me again. This is from when I was removing the camera. Uh, what an attention, Han! No. He had no choice. To remove the camera, he had to be close to the sensor. Okay, we still have the um, fucking library one, the bookcase oh. one, right? That's all for the rear entrance, just these two photos. Okay. Culprit not in rear entrance photo either. Why? What did this mean? You're not in either the front or rear entrance pictures? Uh, yeah, that's pretty odd. Why didn't there a picture of the mash mine entering? That's true. I didn't think about that actually, but now I am. Hey. Shuichi, don't you think that's weird? What? Uh, Let's look at the picture from the hidden door camera. It might tell something. Yeah. Oh, yeah. The camera should have captured the moment the mask might open the door. I hope that's the case. I hope that that was the case to remove the photos from the envelope. There are only two photos. The first one was. Uh. Oh, Rentaro! Hmm. But if Rentaro was the one who moved the bookcase, then. He must have known about the hidden door. Could it be? Could the culprit have gone into the hot hidden door? I see. Yes, that is possible. Do you understand? For now, let's see the next one. There is one remaining, isn't there? Yeah. Yeah, here it is. It fits to reach you removing the camera again. Oh. Huh? What? Hmm? What's Rintaro doing? Yeah. It looks like he's screeching for the camera. Maybe he was trying to remove it. Ah. Uh, I didn't notice something while I was removing the camera. The security sensor for this camera was switched off. If so. If that's the case, this photo was likely taken just before the sensor was turned off. Hmm. That would mean that Rentar noticed it. He saw our hidden camera. By the way. Moving the bookcase triggered the sensor, which in turn activates the camera. Bookies appears to have already been moved. So why did the center activate? I don't get Who it. cares? What happened to the culprit? How come they're not in any of the photos? It seems as if the last photo must have been taken shortly before Rentaro was killed. However, if so, then the culprit should be pictured right behind him in this photo. Uh, then why is the culprit nowhere to be seen? Unless he was behind him and Killed him after he sent off, switched off the sensor? Hidden door photos. Uh, That's all the photos. <sighs> so we gained no new clues, and we still don't know who the culprit is. <laughs> what a fucking waste! Why? Did she really develop all those photos? Maybe she got rid of the one that showed a culprit. <laughs> oh, hi. <laughs> How rude. I developed all the film that I was given. I swore by my almighty daddy that I did. You bastard! 
Those are all the photos from the hidden cameras, so relax and get to deducing. Don't screw around! Dude, are seriously all the pictures? You gotta be kidding me, the culprits aren't any of them! The culprit didn't go to the library, then how did they kill Rentaro? So this must be why they call it a perfect crime. Huh? A perfect crime? Uh, no. I don't know. I'm disappointed. Oh man, I've only been slagging because I thought these photos were really culprit. Uh, no. You should have been helping us investigate. By the way. Oh, by the way. Whoa, what? Yes. Hmm. Rintar had his monopad the whole time, didn't he? Do you think anything was in it? I do not agree. His student handbook did not contain much in the way of per. Pertinent information. Well, I doubt it has anything to do with the case. He simply had his monopad with him. Okay. I inspect his monopad, but I didn't find anything suspicious about it. Oh, oh man. man. So it got nothing to do with the case? How confusing. Are you okay? Kai, are you okay? Uh... Why? Why aren't they in the pictures? Did the mask I had these photos? It would have solved everything. So, why the hell? Uh, Kaede. Hmm. Oh, shit. This is all a... right. It's time for what you've all been waiting for. The class trial. Please assemble in front of the Shrine of Judgment in the courtyard. Shrine of Judgment? Remember that red door surrounded by plants? It's just on the other side. From there, you'll be escorted to a delightful class trial. Oh, no. <laughs> See you all there. This is not good. Huh? Time already? That is correct. It seems we have no choice but to continue this discussion after the class trial. I don't want to go. What a pain. Me either. What a pain. <laughs> what, you scared? An NPC like you had nothing to be scared of. No. It'll be fine. I just feel like my back is up against a wall. Yeah. We need to expose the mastermind in the class trial. Yeah, that's then right. Everything including the killing game will come to an end. That's right. Yes, that's right. Got it. Let's find the mastermind, and if it's a man, let's beat him to death. And if it's a woman, jeez, is it being them to death going a bit too far? Everyone follow Monokuma's instruction and walk toward the courtyard. Except Shuichi. Are you okay? Hey, really? Are you okay? Sorry. Sorry, I just didn't mean to worry you. I'm just so shocked. I really thought the evidence would be resolved once we look at the photos. I can't give up. I can still expose the mastermind in class trial. And then everything, even this killing game, will come to an end. Yeah. I'm okay now, Shuichi. Right? Let's go. And the red door in the courtyard, right? Okay. Um. Now I'm gonna be honest with you guys. I think I know who did it. I think. Now this is just me guessing and based off the evidence we have right now. I think it's Shuichi. I think Shuichi is a killer. Because he had those two photos of him right in front of the camera removing it quote unquote. But I don't know, that seems a bit suspicious to me. Maybe I'm the only one, but... I don't know. It just... I got a bad feeling. That's him. What the fuck is this? Ninja statue? Hello? Oh, there's a fucking thing back there. Trying to judgment. 
this red door, right? Hey! Akaide, I have one more question. Hmm. Do you really think it's one of us? Not just the culprit. But the mastermind as well? Huh? Huh? Isn't that what you told me, Shuichi? Uh, okay. Yes, but... It just... That was only my deduction. I don't know if I should trust that. Hmm. Well, I don't know if it's true either. But that's just why we need to confirm it. If you just dismiss a possibility and look the other way without confirming anything, yeah. then, you're just, then you're just turning your back on the truth. What's the matter? What's the matter, Shuichi? You seem so sure of yourself during the investigation. Sorry. Let's go. I'm sure they're waiting for us inside. Plus, he's been acting a little bit suspicious lately, you know? Is it just me? Maybe it's just me, but I... Okay, so where do we go from here? What? So this is a shrine of judgment? Everyone! Careful, everyone. If bad things happen, get behind Gonta. Then give me a piggyback ride. Come on, carry me. Bitch. Oh my god, are you so fucking annoying? So, are we doing this class trial here or what? No. Monokuma made it sound like we'd be guided somewhere from here. That is troubling. But Monokuma is nowhere to be seen. What's going on? Um. I mean, this is the only Monokuma I see. Okay. Well, this is the only thing I can click. The Monokuma statue gives off such a weird vibe. I mean, yeah, look at it. Oh! Rumble, 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 rumble. Huh? Wait, what? Oh, what? Cutscene? Oh my, you broke the pile. Oh, bye. You, oh, you drowned Oh, no, they, oh. 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 Huh? Is this an elevator? This is. Does he want us to board it? I don't wanna. I don't wanna. I don't do scary rides. <gasps> I don't want to get in either. Hmm. Stay behind then. Though I'm sure that it'll just be worse for you in the end. I guess. Yeah, that's true. I know. If you desire. However, if everyone wishes to run away, I will cooperate as well. No. That's probably not a good idea. There's nowhere to run. As long as the end wall exists, escape's not an option. Hey. It'll be fine. Let's all work together. Remember our, remember our promise. We're gonna escape this place and remain good friends afterward. I'll get us out of here. So let's do it. I'm sure we'll be alright. Mm -hmm. Because we make such an incredible team. I wouldn't be able to call myself a man if I was still scared half after hearing a girl say that. Bring it. I'll show you that I, Kaito Momota, luminary of the star, Just live. <laughs> Don't you mean die? <laughs> Don't say something all ominous like that. I'm ready. We've, we've come so far. We just gotta do it. So let's do it. Okay. We have no choice. We can't turn back now. Yep. De determined, we all step forward. Even as we walked into the elevator, I was shaking with anx anxious dread. But kept going. Because I decided to fight. And then everyone would board the elevator. Here we go. Oh. That's super cool. It's actually an elevator. <laughs> yeah. Even so, this elevator is going pretty far down. Mm. <laughs> We're falling. I wonder how far we will plummet. Uh, I suddenly have to go to the bathroom real bad. Oh, gross. By all means, go ahead. What? Of course. A robot wouldn't understand how <laughs> inappropriate that is. I mean, yeah. As we wait to reach our destination, I whispered to Shuichi. Um, Shuichi? About that talk from before. Yeah. What? 
Oh. I think everyone is afraid of learning the truth. Yeah. But the people who are willing to find the truth are the ones who can decide their fate. If you never know the lies from the truth, then you can't choose a path. You won't even know you're on a path. So, fight for the truth. Even if it is frightening. Yeah. I know you can do this. If you're scared, borrow the strength of others who will be there to help you. Yeah. Think of everyone you're helping, and let that be your strength. I used to be like you. Oh? Before a piano concert, I was always so oh. nervous that I thought I would vomit. But then I would remember all the people I've made smile with my performances. Oh. Kaede. All right, let's go. It's better to end bad stuff like this as soon as possible. Mm. Those words were mainly for me. To inspire me so I would not turn back. I mean, you're a little late for that. You're in an elevator. After some time, the elevator finally came to a halt. The doors slowly opened and revealed what awaited us on the other side. Oh. Why, hello there! Welcome to the class trial! Yay! Oh boy, the class trial is finally starting! Finally, a game that actually feels like a game. Bingo! Just as the prophecy foretold! Got it? Listen up from here on. Things are gonna get so violent you'll wish it could turn back. No way! That's not true. There won't be any gore or violent scenes, I'm positive. This is... This is an authentic replica of a court room. <laughs> what bad taste. Ah, uh, jeez! Why are you making us do this? Is this for fun? Psycho! Of course! Putting strangers in life or death scenario is the best entertainment. You're the worst of the worst! You are seriously the worst! <laughs> worst or not, those who have fun are the real winners in this world. <laughs> Doesn't matter what terrible things you do or are done to you, as long as you're having fun. Oh, I see. Wow, this is so sickening, it's almost refreshing. So how do we get this game going? Well now. There's a podium over there. Please stand behind the one with your name on it. Following Monokuma's instructions, we headed to our respective podiums. As I walked toward my podium, an image of his body flashed in my mind. Oh, Rentaro. He died without knowing his ultimate talent. No, he was murdered by some horrible, low-life scumbag. I'll never forgive this killer. That's why we're going to expose the mastermind and end this killing game. That's all I can do for Rentaro now. Oh, this killer is in the room with us. The mastermind who's controlling Monokuma and forcing us to play this killing game? I don't think I'll ever be able to fully prepare to find out who that person is. But we have to find out who it is, so we can lift our suspicions off each other. Oh. So we can end this killing game. That's why I'm here. I can't show any fear here. I must fight till the bitter end. I'll face this life or death class trial. Welp. I'm going to end it here. And in the next part, we will start our very first class trial of this game. And try to find Rantara's killer. And I said it before and I'll say it again. I, I, I feel like it's Shuichi. I really do. I feel it in my gut. So I'm going to be going with that once we start the trial. Um, so, yeah. That's it.